The last year has shown that crisis inspires action. The world has in record time managed to develop several COVID-19 vaccines. Now it's our shared responsibility to make sure that everyone has access to these vaccines. As co-chair of the global mechanisms to fight the pandemic and investor in its vaccine distribution facility, it's my job to support scientists, healthcare workers, business leaders, civil society and others in doing their job. Let me be clear, no one is safe until everyone is safe. The recent mutations prove this beyond doubt. This is not only about health, it's also about the economy. The investments needed in vaccines are considerable, yet they are minimal compared to the costs of the economic downturn. Vaccines are in an investment with high and immediate return. So vaccine is job number one. However, we need to start on the long road to recovery. That's a demanding task, but also an opportunity to build back better. Resilience preparedness and the fight against climate change is key to reach the sustainable development goals. So is improved global health. Intolerance and marginalization have increased during the pandemic. And we are seeing signs of big setbacks on education, gender equality and inclusion of vulnerable groups. About 690 million people do not have enough to eat. Domestic violence, child marriages and child labour are on the rise. This must be stopped. The combination of climate change, COVID-19 and a socio-economic downturn is devastating. I therefore call on all leaders to step up their commitments to inclusion, food security, health and education. Let us use this opportunity to fight climate change and to stay together in the work towards recovery.